Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are launching a model first seen in 1983 onto the tube. I cannot believe that I have failed to review the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Date 8 Moon Phase, the 25594ST, along with the Perpetual Calendar, is one of the oldest complications in the Royal Oak catalog. And the timepiece on my wrist is a lovely and slender 36mm steel complication from the late E series, so roughly late 1990s. This watch was in production for a long time, sometimes dubbed the Owl and the Moon. You can see it has the image of the Date 8 Owl reference plus a Moon Phase because owls come out at night. Now, the watch is easy to wear on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, though like all Royal Oaks, it does wear larger than its nominal size. Think of this one more as a 39 millimeter if you want to get the size, because across the wrist there are two different ways of measuring it. You can measure it lug to lug, in which case the case itself spans 46.5 millimeters. Okay, not that large. But then you add these intermediate links, these two plots at the end, and they do create a little bit of rigid flare. You see that? There's even a little bit of a billowing outside the end of the case. So this watch wears like a 39 millimeter round timepiece wood. It's not thick, however. I measured at 9.4 millimeters, so it sits low on the wrist and it'll easily slide underneath a dress cuff. These mid-size Royal Oaks are a great value because you're getting a steel Royal Oak with all the hand finishing and exclusivity that entails. And of course, you're also getting that wonderfully finished Royal Oak bracelet with complication. The timepiece, handsomely finished as all Royal Oaks are, it takes approximately five hours to finish this bracelet by itself. And the case is an entirely separate assembly. There is a flaring bevel that expands in lovely geometric fashion from the mid case to the lug hoods. And then it continues perfectly aligned along the flanks of the bracelet. You'll also appreciate that there are little polished ends to these plots. Their inner faces are polished, and you can only see that glossy gleam as you roll the bracelet through the camera, so there's finishing where you can barely even see it. Perfectly aligned satin across the tops of the links. You can see there is vertical satin on the flanks, and the bracelet is fixed in place by screws, so all removable links fixed by screws, distinctly different from today's Aquanaut and Nautilus bracelets that are pin sleeve affairs. Audemars Piguet was never shorting you the spec. And you can see there is a trigger actuated deploying clasp with an Audemars Piguet high polish logo style single fold inside. It's a secure arrangement, and as you can see, easy to close and quite secure in that you must affirmatively pull the trigger to open it up. As with all Royal Oaks and Offshores, save the ceramic models, you have the bars retaining the bracelet fixed in place by screws. So more secure than conventional spring bars, this is the right way to do things, even if it takes a bit more time and a bit more money to craft. Screw down crown in hexagonal form, and you can see, as with all Royal Oaks, a very subtle expression of the bezel gasket as part of the aesthetic of the case. It grew larger on the offshores, but it has always been present on the Royal Oaks in one form or another. You have the signature octagonal bezel inspired by the Royal Navy warship Royal Oak, and then inside that steel bezel, which is rounded off octagonal, polished on its flanks, and vertical sat and finished on its top, you have slightly sunken white gold hexagonal bezel bolts. Of course, they have threadings on the opposite side. They are not screws, they are bolts. That's how they are perfectly aligned all the way around. The dial is a Grand Tapisserie in black, and you can see cut traditionally on a pantograph machine. This is back when the 19th style pantograph lathes were running at Stern Frere, which was the supplier of this dial when this watch was made in the late 90s handsome dial, white gold hands, baton style, and then a combination of blob and dot indices in white gold. It is a Luminova dial, not tritium, despite its age. And you can see there's a white gold AP logo and white gold sub-register hands. A handsome bilateral symmetry. You can split it down the middle and it's symmetrical on both sides. The day, the date, and the moon phase. The moon phase is adjustable with a quick set mechanism. You adjust the date by backing the hour hand from 10 p.m. through midnight. So you back it back and forth and you index the date indicator and you set the day, well you set the date by just spinning the hands. 50 meters water resistant and underneath that case back, which by the way is a monoblock construction. There is no separate case back on this watch. It's constructed in the same fashion as the original Gerald Genta designed Jumbo, so this is a true 50 meters swimmable water resistance when the watch is freshly serviced. The monoblock case construction exceptional, and then on the inside you have a JLC 889 based automatic. This is known as the 2224 and the 2825. Automatic winding, it is a 
38 to 40 hour power reserve, beating away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It has a 22 carat high grade gold winding mass. It has stop seconds, even though the watch has no seconds sub display. Adjusted in six positions, one more than a standard chronometer. And then, of course, it features a module on top, and the two together are a 45 joule automatic movement that is exceptionally slender, enabling this watch, though automatic and complicated, to be only 9.4 millimeters thick. A handsome and charismatic mid-size stainless steel complication royal oak this is the brass ring as collectible watches go an iconic watch from a holy trinity brand in real steel see it and make it yours on the watch box audemars piguet royal oak date 8 moon phase by night full luminova dial in hands